If you're not prepared for an emergency, then you're going to really be in an emergency. We are Don and Lisa, and many of you may know us as the Camper Couple. In the past, we share with you our story of how a financial crisis forced us to live in our camper for a while and our many adventures once we got back on our feet. Now we are totally debt free. In our next chapter, we want to share with you what we've learned and maybe help you on a road to freedom. All right, turn the lights on, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have. We've other done than, I mean, other than adjusting that. You well, why, to... why, why do we do this? Well, this is a potential way to make a workspace for me, is what we're doing here. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. You're going to put an office chair right here and be able to have your monitors and everything it's just one way of working it out that we're trying to come up with so we'll see yeah. we got shelves in the closet now it is so cold today we got 30 amp hookup now yay at the house i like it well i mean just to explain some of this um we uh took see this is where the table usually uh hooks in to the wall over there and uh i unhooked it because it usually goes uh the other way where it, it goes this way and so i put another piece of metal over there on that side so that that so it'll hook into the wall sideways so that it'll be a long you can turn uh, it either direction. So that you can turn it either direction. And I made these extra legs to support it where a chair can go up underneath it. So she can have like an office chair right here and have her monitor set up so that she can work from the road. I think it's going to work well. One of the things that usually will always happen as soon as you get everything paid off, something <laughs> goes wrong. Don't you know? <laughs> And it, we've experienced that even with our, our you know, ourselves. But the point is, is that you've got to be prepared and go ahead and anticipate those things ahead of time. Be prepared for it. Set that money aside. Set that money back for an emergency situation. Now, we've already had um, three unexpected bills for just this past month. First of all, we had some medical expenses that um, were pretty big. You know how medical bills are. And Meeting you, a deductible. And, and, of course, that happens at the end of the year. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and so we had medical expenses. We just found out that this car needs to be fixed. Uh, and that's costing, that going to cost over $400. Well, we we spent 400 today. And there's going to be even more coming out Monday. Okay. So. Hopefully with warranty, it'll only be about $100. Right. So these repair, like car repairs, medical expenses, things like that, that can really set you back. If you're not prepared ahead of time for that, then that's what gets you into the debt trap. And we're, we're working as hard as we can to stay out of that. To not get into that situation. Luckily, we don't owe anything on this car. But the thing is, is that we've already had money set aside for these these situations because we already know, and in anticipation, bad things happen. Well, just to clear everybody up, there's been enough margin in our income right now. We're not having to dip into that. No. So far. So far. We're not dipping into the emergency fund yet. But we have the emergency fund just in case 
even though we're not dipping into the emergency fund yet, uh, it's there just in case we do. Uh, the, still safe right now. Right now we're still we're still safe. We, we we've we we've got money set aside that's not quite emergency fund. Uh, so, but we, for the unexpected, but if it really came down to an emergency, we've got that money set aside too. And cause the medical bills and the car, we were able to get everything fixed and it didn't even phase us. We didn't have to, uh, go into debt to, to get those things fixed because we were already prepared ahead of time. Right. And so if you're prepared ahead of time, then you won't have to pull out that credit card that, <laughs> that always you know ensnares you ensnares you you're going to start paying all that high interest on those things all because an emergency happened if you're not prepared for an emergency then you're going to really be in an emergency and these are just lessons that we've learned that we felt like were worthy to share once you're out of debt you don't want to go back the world has opened up things about being debt free is when you're not paying those bills. You also have the freedom to work things into your budget so that you know, hey, I, I can actually do this. I can actually go and get, you know, 20 K-Pods of coffee. And still... <laughs> He's joking about that because we bought several boxes of uh, coffee pods um, <laughs> just a little bit ago. Uh, it is super cold in the southeast right now but we were going and doing some shopping in preparation for that even though we're a couple weeks out just the way schedules go sometimes you have to do things in advance so that's what we're doing today um and we went and had this, the tires on the car with that because we're gonna have to drive to charleston for the to leave on our cruise and found out that i need shocks on the back and two new front tires and brake pads and we had all of that done so that's where some of this money that we had to spend today came from when money is a stressor your body knows it knows you owe something it knows that that's going on and, and you just don't you just not just being physically at your best right so, when, when you're financially stressed it actually takes a toll on your body mm -hmm. it actually really make, can make you physically sick mm -hmm. and You're not where you want to be yeah so we want to relieve all financial stress mm -hmm. but that's where we're at we just wanted to share some of that and let you guys know where we are and it's a journey it's something we're learning ourselves but it's important and it's something that we feel like could set others free there's a few things i want to show you okay car in the carport truck over here two vehicles in the driveway no debt we've got a camper brand new gutters brand new roof and if you come all the way out here we've got solar power. <laughs> all of this and no debt now I'm not a rich guy I'm a truck driver I'm not, I didn't inherit anything. I didn't win the lottery. How am I able to have all of this and not be in debt? Anybody can do this. It's all about money management. It's about living within your means for a time so that you can build wealth. If you make this much, but you spend this much, you're never gonna get ahead. It's, it's that margin that you need that's your building blocks. That's the building box of wealth. If you can live below your means long enough, you can have things like this and not get into any debt. If you have questions about how to live in financial freedom, feel free to listen in the comments below and we'll try to answer them in our future episodes. While you're at it, go ahead and like and subscribe to our videos so that we can continue to help others find a road to freedom. Ready? No, it's recording. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
Did I mention that I like coffee? Mm, let's move this. What did I just step on? I don't know. <coughs> For just this past month. And, uh... <laughs> what is going on with this thing? This is where you turned it off. Okay, well stop your buzzing whatever you're doing. <laughs>